to a forest floor here. Yeah. They're static platforms, so so that can't use the platforms to have a maneuvering um maneuvering puddle. Yep. And see how it goes, cause see if Rano can you know, really just a, a press or cane with needles and, and all his other stuff and or can't or can Nanigans. Oh, or can can just randomly kill you. Yeah. So he has really good kill power. Just also really good normals. Oh, catches him with the tongue here. Yeah. Down strong, barely not killing, but up air killing. Wow, very dominant stock from from Doctor Fizz. Oop. There we go. Just use oh, these. Just darts. using needles. Needles, and then just. Uh, Ramsdale answering with a smash, with a forward smash, and up smash, not hitting, hitting his Dr. Fizz rolls. Yep. Oop. Oh. Oh, oh, very nice fair. Yeah. Keep, keeping Ramsdale out there and making that recover yeah. even harder. Yeah. Oh. A, a bleed leaves in a down tilt, and then Ramsdale getting all these, all these, uh, parries. And they're beating out the up, uh, up air. Oh, fair. Wow. Uh, Ron is not letting Bramlethal breathe at all. Oh, and Bubble hitting there, too. Yeah, I mean, again, Randall's aerials are just so good at covering space and forcing awkward recoveries from the opponents. Yeah. Ooh, King does oh. uh, his up airs. And just... Uh, Ramsdale just hasn't been able to get anything going and just... Just, again, Rama just... Dr. Fizz is Rama just able to just get these kills. Yep. And now with no puddle on the stage either, that'll make it a yeah. little bit awkward here. Yeah. Not fair, yeah, no, it's not yeah. a lot where Kane can do there, just... Rama's edgeguarding is really good, fair is big, active, strong, just an amazing aerial. And it spikes. Why not? Yeah, and it spikes. <laughs> Why not? Let's throw that in there for good measure. He needs it. <laughs> he needs it. For sure. It's not like he can combo into it off of Needle or anything. He needs it. <laughs> he needs it, yeah. Uh, but what, what apparently we need is more platforms and more hanging platforms, because we are going to what, in my uh, opinion, is one of the most hot topic stages at this peak. Yes! Tepis is definitely... I'm I, Tempest. Not gonna lie, is growing on me personally. Cause I, mean, I, I, I absolutely hate the stage. I mean, you're a, you're a Crag player. It makes sense. I think. I don't think Crags like the stage, right? Even as Forsburn, I never liked the stage. I also play Forsburn. Yeah, I used to uh, play Forsburn before Crag. I see. But yeah, it's like for characters that might have trouble recovering, these side platforms are a blessing because they're at a weird height where a lot of the moves that would cover high options can't really cover them, and they're low and not, or just out of the way of some of the options that could cover lower, so it gives you more space to work with, but uh, all that space doesn't mean a thing if you decide to try and get the uh, puddle jump and yeah. don't get to the stage itself. Yeah. Oh, a, ni a nice oh. nice stall and recovery. I really like that. No back air. Yep. Oh, barely with another back air. That probably would have killed two. To taking a really early stock. Yep. Yeah. There's just so far, so far, in do still continuing his uh, momentum from the last set. Absolutely. Being absolutely yep. dominant. Yeah, and I mean, Rano in general just loves to drop off the of platforms with nares and bears. So having these platforms at this kind of height just makes it that much more frustrating to deal with because like right there you see him wave land on the platform and drop back down with an aerial yeah well specker kind of can kind of like it looks like Becker can like have like auto space on on, on platforms where it's really easy to get get the uh, sweet spot of it too exactly and that's the scary thing when you're going against rano on this stage because you don't have that space to kind of work around the zone that he controls underneath the platform yeah Oh no. Oh, uh, another unfortunate SD. Yeah, kind of forced with that needle there, catching uh, Ramethal out of that empty hop. Yeah. 
a nice punch on the tongue. Yep, good spacing. Yeah. Yeah, Ron, Ron Zacker's also ridiculously fast in bit for how big it is. I believe yeah, it's, it. uh, it's frame 5. Frame faster than it needs to be, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I was just told it was frame 4. There's, yeah, like there's I no, said, faster than it needs to be. There's no way it's frame... Are you sure it, the startup's I mean, frame 4 and then it's active on frame 5? When I, uh, well, fortunately, uh, we're in the right servers to be able to check this. I mean, we got the recess server and the Aether Academy, which, if I remember correctly, they should have put up a guide website yeah. now, so that way everything's not kind of gated behind a Discord server. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Interesting counter pick from uh, Ramlethal. Going to Spirit Tree, which I believe is one of Ron's mm. better stages. Because Ron, yeah. loves, Ron loves overhangs. Yeah, he I mean, loves them. if he likes dropping off of platforms and he likes edge guarding, why would you take him to a stage that has both of those combined? Orkane's or 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 kill power probably is, is probably the idea, which I can get. Yeah. I, can I mean, definitely if you get, get the back air chains off the sides, it is definitely potent. The challenge is just getting to that point, and with the way that uh, Dr. Fizz is playing, just patiently sitting back on these platforms, using the darts to kind of force awkward approaches from Ramethal, yeah. that's really the key thing to overcome in this matchup right now. Ooh, just almost figuring out how to Oh Ooh. god. Try, try, catch, catches Ramethal holding out. Yep. Nope. It's, again, just absolutely dominant so far. Start from Dr. Fizz. Oh, I like that running in back and up to yeah. check to see what option was used. Uh, oop, punishing the, the tongue with back air. Oh, and then oh. punishing the punt, punt was able. Punches the up air with tongue. Oh, and misses the down tilt. Yeah, but still, oh, Ella keep this advantage state and going deep. And that force oh, is off enough for oh. recovery. I mean, hey, it's worth it because it puts your opponent on the final stock at this point. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely with, with with how Don Doctor Fizz is is so far been this set. It's, I think losing that stock isn't a huge. It would be a huge deal for him. Oh, doesn't quite get the tongue. Still lands on the platform now. And gets another tongue, and that's me. That's me. Another bit piece of dance. Another, another tongue. Jeez, another one. <laughs> so and many times. Uh, oh, out, but can we get four? Another tongue? Another tongue? <laughs> another tongue? Let's go. Oh, my oh God. Mrs. Duff's strong. Oh no! <laughs> so many tongues. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and gets Duff uh, strong. Great <laughs> for victory, apparently. Yeah! Wow. I think he's working. Just keep throwing out tongue. Gosh! Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, just... unfortunately, Ramethal didn't really have an answer for the darts that were forcing all of those approaches. Because yeah. Dr. Fizz was definitely doing a good job of just playing the patient game, and once Dr. Fizz found an opening, took it for everything it was worth. 